Hello, dear and beloved science students. It's your favorite sixth grade science teacher, Mr. Heck and Loudly, coming to you on Friday, May 8th, 2020. Now I'm gonna go over our recent assignment, Beetle Battles. And I have to say, this is one of the reasons I just love science, and I hope you do. Because what science is about is asking challenging questions and then seeing what the evidence shows. So the question in Beetle Battles was, do females prefer stronger males, okay? So that's one of those questions which is generally asked and we wanna find out what is true. So let me read a little bit from the start of this, okay? So this is Beetle Battles, you see that there? Okay, research background. Males spend a lot of time and energy trying to attract females. In some species, males directly fight with others to become socially dominant. They also fight to take over and control important territories. This process is known as male-male competition. The large antlers of male elk are an example of a trait that have been favored by male-male competition. In other species, males try to court females directly. This process is known as female choice. The flashy tails of male peacocks are a good example of a trait that has been favored by female choice. Lastly, in some species, both male-male competition and female choice determine which males get to mate. In order to be successful, males have to be good at both fighting other males and making themselves attractive to females. Erin is a biologist interested in these different types of mating systems. She wondered if she could discover a single trait that was favored by both male and male competition. So. We've got this two things happening. We've got male-male competition and we've got female choice, okay? So in the dung beetles, uh, males will directly fight each other. But the other thing is that um, uh, males, when they want to mate with the females, will uh, tap their antennas on the, uh, on the females. And so supposedly the speed at which they tap determines their attractiveness. Yes, I know, it's very strange. I'm sorry, that's the way the natural kingdom is. So they tested this by looking at the strength of the males and whether that strength, as shown in male-male competition or in um, uh, tests of strength, had any effect on it. And so what was interesting is when you go to this page, and it shows the strength of those males who have mated and the strength of those males who have not mated, what you find is the strength of those males who have not mated is actually stronger than that of those who have mated. So that tends to show that at least among dung beetles, the critical thing is not that male to male competition. In fact, that male-to-male -male competition may actually be counterproductive uh, to the males because in dung beetles, it seems to be more a matter of female choice than male competition. So it's kind of interesting because it's not really what you would expect. So um, uh, the data in um, table one, what is the independent variable? That would be strength of the beetles, okay? And the dependent variable would be the, um, uh, whether they are, or not they have mated with a female. Uh, the data uh, from table two is the difference of strength in the various, um, uh, the various beetles and the dependent variable would be whether they lost or not, okay? So, what you see is that when you do a graph, you don't have to do a graph, I mean, the graph is provided. So what you see is that the um, unmated males are actually stronger than the mated ones. So that means that those males who are successful um, at mating with females and passing their genes on to the next generation, they're using a different strategy. Instead of fighting, they're just uh, going and um, approaching the females. So uh, showing that at least among dung beetles, female choice is very important. 
So make a claim that answers the scientific question. This might be a good place for you to um, you know, make a claim that's not supported by the evidence. So you might say something like, uh, I claim that the stronger males will have more success in mating with the females, okay? And then you look at the data and you go, huh, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, you'll have, you know, provide some data. Remember, data, data, data. We love our data, okay? So you answer that, explain your reasoning. Um, you know, this is a, a good example where uh, what you think is true at the beginning ends up not being true when you look at the information. So what does the data tell you about the scientist's hypothesis? Well, if your hypothesis was, um, I claim that male, stronger males will have more success in mating with females, uh, your hypothesis would be wrong. So you'd say the hypothesis that the beetles with more strength would be more successful in mating with females was wrong. And then you would provide your evidence, meaning numbers, 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 numbers. I'm always talking about that. Okay, next steps as a scientist. Science is an ongoing process. What new question do you think should be investigated? What future data will, should be collected to answer this question? Well, it would be interesting because we know that there are some species in which male-to-male -male competition is very important. Um, we know that there are some species in which female choice is very important. And we know that there are some species which have both, okay? So it might be interesting to investigate um, whether uh, when you have both male-to-male -male competition and female choice involved, whether uh, female choice predominates or male-to-male -male competition, okay? So hopefully that answers your questions. Hopefully you are being good to each other during the lockdown. Um, I have put another um, uh, assignment about tree killing beetles into your Google, Google Classroom. Um, I'm experimenting with ways to make sure that everybody can access it. So uh, if for some reason it gets messed up and you have problems. I mean, I'm having some printer problems now too. So I'm very sensitive to this. So if you find something not working, please feel free to simply write it on a separate sheet of paper, take a picture of that and send it to me and I will give you credit. But remember, don't be stressed. You're going to get to seventh grade. You will, you've all been doing great. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Hope things are going well in your world, and I will talk to you later.